Welcome to the creation of our movie poster for Reborn from Sin. This is Photoshop CS4. First thing I did, I went over to Photoshop and started a new document uh, at A3 size. I then created a new layer from the background and I went over to the paint bucket tool over here and filled the layer black. What I wanted to do is I wanted a cross inside uh, with a photo of Erica uh, playing Samantha in the film. I wanted her inside the cross. So what we did is I went down to click on the layer and clicked add layer mask. I was now able to draw the size of the cross that I wanted and then next thing I did I went up to select and inverse that means that the centre of the cross will be cut out, that will be white and the background will still remain black this is what I ended up with with the size of the cross now I've drew it, drew it out I needed to import the file and the picture of Erica playing Samantha in our film I went over, inserted the photo went up to filter went down to filter gallery as I thought the, f the picture didn't actually look too good from a uh, straight importing it so all I do go down to the bottom here and fit on screen that allows us to see the whole picture of the person just wait for this to load and as you can see over here you've got all different brush strokes distorts, sketches all different things that you can actually do to the picture. Make sure you select it on the actual um, layer that you wanted, and this should be of Samantha. All I did really is when once I've inserted it. It's just a case of trial and error, things that you like. So obviously I don't, don't like that one because it's putting a brush stroke over the top. So have a look at splatter. Nah, not a big fan of that either. So, uh, let's look at distort. So you can have all different glowing edges. There's absolutely loads of different things that um, you can have on top. We actually um, went with cutout, which is what you see saw before. It was just down to trial and error, which one we thought suited it the best. And this is what we en ended up with. Then went over to here, which is the number of levels, so you can adjust the amount of levels of the cutout that you want the simplicity and all all different all different things there once you've finished go to OK as you can see the cutout you can now see Samantha being played by Erica is in the middle of the cross and the cross with a white edge round it and the black background what you can do if the picture doesn't match properly is you can press command and T or go to edit and go down to free transform this means now that you can move this photo of Erica absolutely wherever you want her so if we wanted her smaller you can just grab the corners and fit her smaller inside the cross and then when you're done just press the enter right as you can see I've now shown you both of these so the cross with the vector and the layer mask on top which has been um, cut out so that you can see the layer behind it which is of Samantha with an artistic um, filter over the top which gives just takes the edge off the photo 
It's now time to add the title. So what we did is, I'll just show you. We went over to the text tool, created a new layer, and I called it Reborn from Sin. And all we did is went through trial and error again, just having a look at all the different types of fonts that are available in Photoshop. And there's absolutely hundreds available. We actually went and I liked the style of and the simplicity of impact. And all we wanted to do was make sure that that fit in across the whole of the, as it does, across the whole of the document of the film poster. So we went down over here and changed the letter spacing so that each letter takes up 130% horizontally and you can change the set the tracking between other layers and of course the font and the um, size of the font. We went for 60. We felt that if we'd have got, we could have gone for a bit bigger and lowered the letter spacing, but I think it was a good, good choice for a, a file, um, a font size. And whilst we're clicking on here, we you can also, if you select the text tool, click anywhere on on the. Um, within the word and we decided to go for a red colour we went for as red as, as we could on the, this text colour but obviously as you move it it all make you can make as different colours with the red, green, blue There's all different colours but we decided that the red was probably best as we're gonna as it suited our genre of the film next thing to, that we needed to do was creating the credits as there's many conventions as of um, in the research on my blog credits very very hard to create um, by by manual um, creating and changing them all which I don't think gives the same effect so I actually went out and researched um, and found that there's a tool and there's a free front font that made it easy to um, create this effect. So all I did was I created a new layer, a text layer, and I installed the font called Steel Tongs. And what this does is, as you can see here, certain letters put in these like low these little pieces of text, so like directed by, written by, produced, music, edited, in association with, the film by, presents, all these sort of things that you've got absolutely loads of available to you. And I just think that looks a lot lot better than if you had just typed it normally. As with many films and the film posters, they include a tagline, and we decided to include one as well. Let's zoom out for you a bit. And we went with, could you forgive the sins of the father? As this is a religious tagline, I went for something very simple. And I went for Inner Mathy, which is a simple font. And it's easy to read. And we just read, went for the regular. Didn't put any bold on. Normal letter spacing. And changed the colour to a red, which matched the top. Um, title and we went for the simple text which works a lot better than if we'd have gone for something really fancy um, just because the intent of the tagline and the simplicity makes it a lot easier for the audience to read it next thing we we did was uh, we created so at the moment we've got the credits, credits down here, the tagline, the background with the layer mask with the actor behind it, with an artistic blur brush on it, and we've got our title. We could have just left it there, which was perfectly fine, I believe, but I thought we needed an extra pe bit at the bottom, as this we've got a lot of black area down the bottom here. 
like with many film posters, we looked at the conventions and what they did to fill in, and we saw that they included like a bottom bar line. So if I add all these back in, so we created a red bar that went across the bottom of the screen and of of the layer, the film poster. So we created a red bar across along the bottom, and then added some more um, film poster convention logos. So I've got digital DTS surround, and we've got digital THX. And also coming soon in the middle. So all I did was I used I used the steel tongs font, which allow, which has got these logos in at the bottom. And what what I actually did was, as you can see, the the actual logo cuts into the red line. Um, so I created a black box below it. Which meant that over here you can see without the black box, the line just carries on, and the Im the and the um, logo is over the top of the red line. So I created a black box underneath. This makes gives it that cut out feeling, which works really well with the coming soon, as well. So we added the coming soon, changed the line spacing, so it was a lot wider, and. Filled the filled the gap and give it some t context as well, and we just went for a plain white font, bold, and quite big to let the audience know that the film's coming soon. So as you can see, that is our f final film poster. With we added a black outline just to hide, hide the white around the edges they also we cre I created a chain which um, when I take out the title was going to sit behind here like so and make it look like there was um, a chain connected to the actual cross which was the layer mask so I uh, created this in Photoshop as you can see and created many of these links and has joined them all together to create one one big chain but we felt with with the title over the top of the chain it, you just lost that edge off the title so we actually decided to lose the chain which I th think is a lot better also all we had to do so when we're happy with it I think it's a very good film poster. When we're happy with it, go to File, go to Save As, change the format to JPEG and Film Post, give it a name and save it. This means that you can actually put this directly onto onto the blog as a film poster and as an image.